what we've let you guys diddle daddy long enough, we're going to score like 40 points and send you guys home. The 49ers end up beating the Seahawks 41 to 23. Brock Purdy with his first playoff win, and probably many, many more to come. We talked about a quarterback controversy uh, last week. If you guys haven't seen that clip, run over to our YouTube page and check it out, or Facebook is, is up there as well. But guys, check it out. But way or no way, guys, the San Francisco 49ers are the most dangerous team in not only the NFC, but the NFL playoffs right now. More scarier than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the uh, Giants, the Dallas Cowboys, the Eagles, the Chiefs, the Bills, the Bengals. They are the most dangerous. When I first proposed this, proposed this question, I was expecting everybody to be like, no, the Bengals are the best. No, the Bills are the best, right? But overwhelmingly, guys, people said that the San Francisco 49ers are the best team and the most dangerous team in the playoffs. Not only the NFC playoffs, but the playoffs in general. So I got to sit back and I got to thinking. Debo Samuel just came off the injury, had a fantastic game, right? Christian McCaffrey, great asset to the San Francisco 49ers. George Kittle, yes, I know Kelsey didn't play, but he might be the best tight end in the game right now with Brock Purdy. When other quarterbacks were in there, a.k.a. Jimmy G and Trey Lance, uh, um, George Kittle was kind of off to the wayside, but now they're starting to use him again and be a lot more, you know, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tight end friendly, right? But guys, no way the San Francisco 49ers are the best team in the NFL playoffs. They're not even the most dangerous team in the NFC playoffs right now, guys. Do you understand the most dangerous team right now in the NFC playoffs are playing right now on Monday Night Football. The Dallas Cowboys versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I said it last week, and I'm saying it, it again for the people in the back. The winner of this game will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. One more time. The winner of the Dallas Cowboys versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. The most dangerous team is playing right now. The winner of this game is the most dangerous team in the playoffs. Why? Because the 49ers, yes, they can score 35 points, right, versus a terrible Las Vegas Raiders team. Yes, they can score 41 points versus a not-too-shabby uh, uh, Seahawks team. We've seen it, right? We've seen it. But the Raiders' defense was ranked 30th in the NFL going into that game. Seahawks defense is ranked 20th going into their game last night. The Cowboys, top five defense. Buccaneers, a top 10 defense. The Philadelphia Eagles, number 15. And the New York Giants, number nine. Yes, the 49ers do have a good defense. They are ranked number six. Number six defense right now in the NFL. Not too bad, right? But offensive-wise, it's just... Yes, I do like Brock Purdy. I do like George Kittle. I love CMC when he's healthy. I just, I don't see them, if they're in an offensive shootout, the Cowboys are are superior, the Eagles are superior, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are sub superior. Hell, even the New York Giants are superior than the 49ers if it's an offensive shootout. If it's a defense of slugfest, the Cowboys are superior. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'll give the 49ers on that one. The Eagles, give the 49ers on that one. The Giants, 49ers, give me the Giants. Yes, I like Bosa. I like um, uh, 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 the Armstead, right? They have a good defense. Just they're not better than the Cowboys. They're not better than the Giants. It is what it is. So are they the most dangerous team in the NFL playoffs? No, they're not. They're not even the most dangerous in the, in the NFC. And if you want to take it one step further, 